day 15 of 75 recap. Have you seen a difference in my body? Yes. Have you seen a difference with my mind? Yes. Have you seen a difference in our sex life? You're under oath. This is weird. Yes or no? Hi right, guys, uh, Tuesday morning, morning of day 16 of 75. Just got uh, ridiculous workout in. Um, some chest, shoulders, and rear delts, so it wasn't really, wasn't really back. But um, man, I can't stress the importance of finding a trainer or a workout partner that'll push you uh, further than you can push yourself. I just know without a doubt that I would not have gotten that level of intensity of workout in this morning had I not had someone there pushing me, telling me what to do, knowing what I should do next, and pu pushing me right to the limit and a little above it, and uh, knowing what I'm capable of. And having one of those people, whether it's a workout partner, friend, or whether it's someone that you're hiring, having that person be all in with you, especially when you're doing a challenge like this, having that person be excited and seeing the progression and seeing um, you know, the improvements week by week and day by day, uh, it's just, it, it makes a world of difference. So I uh, highly encourage those of you that are taking part in this challenge, those of you that are thinking of taking part of this challenge, and those of you that want nothing to do with this challenge, to make sure that you've got somebody that's pushing you harder than you can push yourself. Uh, both in business and in life. About to head to the office here in a little bit and uh, get this day 16 uh, done. I've got like five interviews back to back today, a uh, bunch of stuff. We got GVL Hustle tonight, which is the uh, meetup group that me and a, a friend of mine created a little over a year ago. So excited about that. I'm gonna do some Q&A there uh, with the group and uh, wrap up a second workout at some, uh, some point uh, tonight. So appreciate you guys uh, joining along on this journey. It's gonna be a fun one. What's up guys? I'm gonna go ahead and recap day 16. Even though the day's not over, but I'm just wrapping up my second workout of the day. I've already drank a gallon of water, already been perfect on the diet, already uh, uh, read my 10 pages, so all I gotta do is progress big. And, uh, and that's a wrap. We got GVL Hustle event tonight that I'm super excited about for those that are in Greenville, 7 p.m. downtown. But uh, guys, I wanted to come at you with this message, and that is this. Quit worrying about your potential. I'm coming to the realization that potential just doesn't exist. Because as soon as you think you're reaching it, it gets pushed out just a little bit further. So the reality is we all have infinite potential. We all are capable of anything and everything we could possibly want to do. And that has nothing to do with the set, self-imposed limitation of this ideal of potential. So top, stop talking about potential. I'm guilty of it as you. Stop talking about it because the reality is you are meant for far, 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 far more than just reaching some idea of potential. As soon as you get there, God will open up the floodgates and show you what you're actually capable of. And as soon as you reach the end of yourself there, God will show up and show you exactly what you're capable of beyond that. So the potential just doesn't exist. It's infinite. The idea is to take every single day go hard every single day go 110 percent further than you've ever gone every single day and just see what happens see the results they'll always be there so guys um, i'm just wrapping up this second workout been walking with this 32 pound vest uh, for a couple weeks now but today i was like screw it let's run i just ran three miles straight without stopping with this vest on. Now I'm walking the last mile as I head on in. Day 16, about done, 75 hard. I juggle a lot. 
but I love juggling a lot. And Gary Vee talked about this, you know, recently in one of his videos. He was like, some people, they should dabble in seven different businesses and maybe one of them succeeds. Other personalities, they need to go all in on one. And by dabbling in seven, it will kill the one. Neither are right. And so it's just looking at your personality and where you feel most comfortable. Like if you're got all these things going on, but like that's like, like you're in that flow state, like you're operating at a high level cause you have a lot of different things going on and you just love being in that type of environment, that's exactly what you should do. And you shouldn't listen to anybody that tells you that that's wrong because it's right for you, it's wrong for them. But if that's not you and that's stressing you out and it's causing, you know, again, stealing your capacity, then you need to figure out which of those things are the most important, which of those things are actually bringing in revenue, which of those things are actually serving you and just focus, narrow in on that. But it all has to do with your happiness and the way you feel when you are doing those things. It's the only way you're gonna know. I personally am not a fan of silent partners. Like if someone's gonna be an investor in my business and they're gonna be a partner in my business, they need to be in my business. Like involved in the day to day and like have vested interest, like sweat equity in the business, like that it at least means something to them. That they're not just stroking a check, hoping that you do something crazy with it and they get a return one day. Um, I'm also extremely guarding of, of equity. Like, you can find situations where you can pay someone a salary, pay someone interest on a loan, and not have to give up equity if the capital is needed. And I would do that all day long, because it's your business. But it all comes down to what you're comfortable with and what you need in return. Because if it's a partner that's wanting to invest money, but he also wants to be kind of the financial business side where you're the creator side or the manufacturer side or whatever the business and you know you need that it's worth it but you just got to weigh those options and look at like what's in it for me like what like really play it out so like any scenario play it out like, what does this look like a year from now what does this look like five years from now if I do this and if you don't feel if you don't feel a hundred percent good about it I wouldn't even entertain it because there's gonna be a million people that wanna offer you money. A million people that wanna throw money at something thinking it'll make them some money. But to find the right partner, the right investor, and do it the right way, it takes time. Um, and it takes, it's way more thoughtful than just, I need some money, this guy said it'll give me some money, I don't know if I should do it or not. It's like, what does that guy bring to the table other than just a checkbook? Um, and, I just, and I would just guard your equity if I were you. The, the idea that in 2019 that there would be a gap like is mind blowing to me. Like it's mind blowing. Like to me, because of social media, because of the internet, and because we have access to so much, like I don't care if it's an alien. Like if they do good work, they do good work. Like in the story. Um, I think there are some industries though that are still extremely traditional. There's a lot of old white guys. It's just the truth in some industries, insurance being one of them that I'm in. Um, and until they die off, it's probably gonna be that way um, because they're really thick headed and hard to you know, convince otherwise. Um, but I think at the end of the day, merit over everything. Um, if you're good at what you do, it does not matter. Um, it may matter to one person, it may matter to a, a community or to a group of people, but at the end of the day, if, if you've got what it takes, then I don't see it now as being a barrier. Um, I understand it, and I'm super empathetic to it being a white male. Like, I, I, I get it. Um, but man, like, that, it just blows my mind to have that conversation anymore. But I realize it's needed. It's, it's crazy. Um, but I think, you know, putting yourself out there, um, social media is the best, the best tool for people to get to understand your merit. And so putting out smart, you know, articulate content based around what you do, that's not all about a picture of you. Like, and I don't know if that's what you do, I'm, but 
like putting your skills out on the table for people to see so that they know. I mean, it, it, this may sound bad, but like for a male to look at a female that's highly, highly skilled, they need to see the skills to know what they're skilled at. Like that's with anybody, with a male, female, like, like I need to know what you're good at in order to base any opinion. So social media gives you that platform to create a brand where you're putting that stuff out every single day and you're getting in front of more and more and more people to where the ones, I love the, you know, the ones that don't mind, the ones that don't matter won't mind and the ones that don't mind won't matter. Is that? That's right. The ones that matter don't mind. The ones that matter don't mind and the ones that mind don't matter. Or you can't say the right thing to the wrong person, wrong thing to the right person. It's just like, screw those people. Like, there's so many more out there. There's so much more opportunity with people that don't either don't care or particularly embrace a female entrepreneur. Um, and all of the benefits, like there's certain roles within certain companies that I think females are the, the only fit for those roles because they have different skill sets. Um, so yeah, it's a kind of a weird, complicated answer, but, um, but I think that the internet is the great equalizer of all time, and it's right there in front of us. One, one other thought is, I feel like so many people spend, again, that capacity worrying about, talking about, arguing about the hurdle that they forget to jump over it. Like, they want to talk to everybody about how you don't know what it's like to be a woman. You don't know what it's like to be a woman. You don't know what it's like to be a woman. I'm like, I'm right, I don't. Go do it. Like, like go do your thing. But we can get so wrapped up and focused on talking about the problem that we never go create the solution ourselves. And you can get caught up and you can spend so much time and so much of that capacity is being robbed, even just mentally. Like letting it bother you. That's stealing capacity from you. When you're walking into that boardroom or you're walking into that meeting, that idea that that may happen or that may exist is robbing you of capacity in that meeting because it's there and you know it. And so it's just shutting that down and blocking that off and just literally just blinders on moving forward and like screw the ones that think that way and embrace the ones that don't and just keep on moving because there's so many that don't care. Hi right, guys, this is day 17 of 75. Just got done with a pretty, pretty intense uh, leg workout as you probably just saw. Um, but yesterday, day 16 was awesome. Uh, went out yesterday afternoon with that 32 pound vest on. I was gonna walk and I was like, screw it, let's run. Did three straight miles running with that thing, which was just like phew, next level. But I uh, had our GVL Hustle event last night, which uh, you guys just saw as well. And man, like, I feel like, you know, it's easy to see results like with your body, but last night, I don't think I've ever felt the way I felt. Like my energy level was at an all time high. I was like in this crazy flow state to where like, you know, it was just, everything was just like on point and answering the questions and the conversations I'm having, I was having were just like so much more intentional and deep and thoughtful. And uh, I mean, literally, it's, it's the only thing I can get attributed to is this mindset switch with this challenge and just operating at that higher level and being just more intentional with my time, being more focused. And, uh, and it, was, it was awesome. So super excited about that because that's like a big mental push, a big mental step forward. Uh, and it's nice to be able to actually feel and see uh, the results on that side as well, not just your body and, and things like that. So uh, going into day 17, feeling more motivated as, as ever, more momentum than ever. And uh, I can't wait to, to continue this thing. And one thing I wanted to mention how 
That's how awesome it's been, this community around 75 hard. Like just using the hashtag, how many conversations have been started. And yeah, you know, I can jump on the hashtag and start encouraging other people that are just getting started or encouraging other people that are, you know, towards the end and people have been jumping on my stuff and doing the same thing. And it's, it's really amazing, uh, the community that's been created around this challenge and the support and encouragement of people, everybody just trying to become the best versions of themselves. It's, it's really inspiring and it's really awesome just to see in so many different people from so many different parts of the country and parts of the world uh, that are taking part of this and you realize you're a part of something bigger but everyone all together is trying to just get better and uh, it's super awesome super admirable super grateful for uh, Andy for putting this all together it's uh, man it's something special so with that guys it's day 17 got a lot of work to do got another workout to do we'll make it happen what's up everybody just got done with workout number two Last two weeks I've been walking with this 32 pound vest. Yesterday I came out here and I was like, screw it, let's run. And ran three miles straight with this vest on. It was unbelievably difficult. But today when I came out, I was like, you know what? It's not good enough. What are we gonna do today? So I was like, we're gonna go run faster and we're gonna go run further than we did yesterday and push ourselves to the absolute limit. And so I just got done with four straight miles and uh, First mile was 11 minutes and 9 seconds. Second mile was 10 minutes and 49 seconds. Third mile was 9 minutes and 49 seconds. And after that third mile, I'm like, all right, it's the furthest I've ever gone. Let's see if we can make this the fastest one yet. And in my mind, I had a goal. I just want to beat 9.15. If I can beat 9.15 on this mile with this freaking 32 pound vest on, and that's a win. And I'm telling you what, I was trucking this last mile. I mean, people that are out here in this cemetery, unfortunately, probably paying their condolences, probably what, what in the world's going on. I'm just like, ah, ah, ah. At one point, I literally had tears running down my eyes. I was just freaking putting everything I possibly could in. And finally, boom, four miles, hit it. Eight minutes and 47 seconds. A whole minute faster than the third mile. And here's the lesson that I want to tell you guys today. There's two people that I want to introduce you to. And it's two people that I'm getting to know really, really well over these first 17 days of this challenge. And it's two people that I don't think that many of you have ever, ever truly met. And that is these two people, the winner and the quitter in you. See, you gotta push yourself further than you've ever gone before to the end of yourself. And that's when you get introduced to. That's when you meet face to face with the winner and the quitter in you. And at that moment, you've got a choice to make. You can quit or you can push. You can quit or you can keep going. You can quit or you can say, just screw it all. I'm gonna do this. I don't care if I die out here. I'm already in a cemetery. I don't care if I die with this vest on and somebody finds me today. I'm gonna push myself harder than I've ever pushed myself before. And that's when you get finally introduced to the winner in you. But I promise you, you will not meet these two people unless you are taking yourself to the absolute edge, to the absolute limit, to the absolute outside of that which you think right now is currently possible. The quit and the winner in you. I highly encourage you get introduced to both of them. And man, I hope you walk arm in arm with the winner. It's day 17 wrap on uh, 75 hard. And man, <laughs> oh, I'm just getting started.